Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Gwent Edge. Today we're going to continue our laddering in the season of Mahakam. And uh, today we'll be starting at rank 11. And this is the deck I'm going to start with. This is a double cross Nilfgaardian deck uh, with Shoop included as well. So uh, we're in the Shoop event at the moment. So I went for a Shoop mage. We're going to check that out in a second. But uh, this is the deck composition over here. So Shoop stay off, Trist, Telekinesis to uh, generate more uh, special cards. Uh, Geralt Erden, Ramon de Canel, Fionn van Vargarnel. Basically, it's uh, an Assimilate deck with uh, a few added touches for more uh, possible destruction. But uh, we'll see how this goes. I've never even used it so far, but I feel like this might do pretty well. So as you can see, the Shoop challenge is in full effect, which means that I just need to play six matches in classic mode with Shoop in my deck. So let's do just that. First up of today is Scoia'tael. That seems like, yeah, Mystic Echo. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a tough first match. So there we go. Uh, got a pretty nice first pull. Um, do I start with Artorius already or not? I feel like I probably should. Because Artorius is a great first starter. Uh, but I need to be careful that I don't pull anything I don't want to pull. So let's just start with the Nolzga Sergeant. Always a good uh, starting point. So there we go. And there we get Nova Gradient Justice already, which is annoying. But yeah, nothing to do about that. So that's just a double Dwarven Mercenary. So those guys are going to be ah, annoying. I can't really do too much about that. So I'm just going to go with the... Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Artorius. What is truth, if not an and then I can go with the Art Fane Heavy Cavalry Soldier over here. And that just gives us... A few more points over there. There we go. And a third. So can't really do anything about those mercenaries. So that's just gonna be uh, four damage ticks. Probably gonna go onto Artorias because I see him selecting it already. It's weird that he didn't put those somewhere else. I could go with Shoop already. But I feel like that's a bit early. I might just let him win this one. And see where we go from there. I think I'm just gonna pass and just reset until the next round. He did play two of his big dwarfs already. And Nova Gradient Justice. With Mystic Echo, he can replay Nova Gradient Justice, which is probably what's gonna happen, but I would assume that that's not the first thing he'll do. So I'm gonna try and uh, play my soldiers next. Which is going to be the Art Fane Crossbowman and then... Okay, three Rowdy Dwarves. Let's play the Crossbowman. Kill one of the Dwarves with that. And then the Art Fane Tortoise on top of that, which gives us another damage stick. I just want to try and push now. Uh, not too much, of course, because of course, if he plays Nova, he's probably saving up Nova Gradient Justice for the last round, huh? Okay. Defender. So purify that. Ha ha ha. Yeah, purify. Uh, I'm gonna have to end it there, I think, unless I wanna already. Use my leader ability, I'm not going to. <clears throat> and we get a pass, yeah. Okay, which means I just need to lock something. And that does give me one card disadvantage, but yeah, nothing I can do about that right now. Should have pushed a bit more aggressively there, but we still have a lot of great cards in our hand. And then we have Surrender as well, so Surrender's gonna come in handy. And Glynis, that is good. That is very good. So Glynis, Surrender, Bribery, Shoop, the Reset. I'm gonna swap him one more time, yeah, so the normal Nilfgaardian create. 
Oh crap, I can't use Ramon Tirconel. That was stupid. I don't have a bronze soldier in my hand. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, I kind of missed misplayed there. That's because I'm not used to the deck anymore. So probably gonna lose this once you get to the end of the match. I mean, I definitely have something here. Uh, the problem is that I don't really played this really well. Uh, I haven't really played this really well, so... Yeah, I think I'm still gonna lose because I'm... Um, Ramon is useless, sadly. I uh, should have looked at that before we uh, went further. So I don't have any bronze soldiers in my hand. And I'm guessing there's still a great oak in there somewhere. And I don't have a way of dealing that much damage again. There we go, great oak. Onto my assimilate units. Um, and the reset isn't going to do anything, so... I lost... I lost, I definitely lost. Last words. And there we go, defeat. But let's definitely have something there. Um, so I'm gonna retry that again, because I feel like this deck has more potential than I just gave it credit for. And next up, again, Mystic is basically the, the exact same thing, which is annoying. But uh, let's do better this time. So more dwarves where that came from, probably. I should just go for Otakas Venom in my deck, I'm just thinking. Because uh, this is not going to be enough. Um, let's see. The Ducal Guard can go. Kantayala is fine. Uh, let's get rid of the Nozka Sergeant for now. Not that great of a starting hand. But it is something at least. There we go. A Rowdy Dwarf to start with. Which is fine by me. Let's just play the Heavy Cavalry. Which gives us our first assimilate unit. And then we could go with the slave hunter as well. And then start playing assimilate stuff. Because he's building that up nicely, isn't he? We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Uh so let's just use the slave hunter that will do. uh over there. Because I still have surrender in my hand, so might as well use that there. And that's three damage on the Slave Hunter. Fine, fine. I could just do the Duchess Informant, but on what then? The Chariot, I suppose. Or maybe just Cantarella, just annoying him a bit. Let's do that. Cantarella onto... Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't have any use for that, but at least... He can't use that anymore. There we go. Uh, that's just the basic six points. Should have probably played the Duchess Informant first, but nothing I can do about that. Um, I could just do Surrender now. He doesn't have anything in the graveyard just yet. Or just the Duchess Informant. Could do the Duchess Informant. Um, on to uh, Mahaka Marauder. That I can also play now, just like that. There we go. Just like that. And now we have the Dwarven Berserker. On the other row. So that means I can just lock that. And that's going to be fine as well. More barricades where that came from. Uh, we can then use Surrender to just... Yeah, let's just use Surrender. There we go. That clears out most of the units on that row. Gives me the advantage again. Probably not something they were expecting that quickly. And then I could technically do Experimental Remedy. To just get... Wait, what? Oh, wait. The Barricade guy is going to do one damage. But that still puts us equal. Uh, so I should pass, right? Yeah, I should pass, because that's only one damage that that's going to do. So that brings us to 1919. Yeah. There we go. Let's just pass strategically. Because even that could even hit the armor, which means he hasn't even ended in a draw. Oh, he's lucky. He is lucky. But round ended in a tie, which means that we have card advantage for the final round. And they won't have the 
tempo they probably need. Ideally, I should start with the Imperial Diviner. All these signs can mean but one thing. And then... I could use my ability already. Let's do double cross. Uh, place Coriatel units from your deck and boosted by one. Let's just play the the Rowdy Dwarfs over here. There we go. That's not a problem, so that's immunity. Uh, Fionn as a defender. A battle preparation on himself. And that gives us another assimilate tick as well, which is why he's in the deck. Now we have Call of the Forest. I'm wondering what that's going to be. Okay, Defender. Which is fine. I couldn't do that in any way. Um, oh, we lost connection there. No problem, no problem. I haven't seen him play oh he can use call of the forest again if he wants to let's try that let's just shoot use shoop shoop mage and then move a random unit spawn and summon a random unit to the random row split 13 ran damage randomly move a random unit to the opposite row this is a complete gamble but there we go uh let's do that and we just lose one ah i didn't know that could also move one of the Oh my fucking god, that was fucking great. Okay, shoot mage sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's another one of those. Dwarven mercenaries. Let's see, if I create something... Um, whenever you play a special card. Do I have special cards in my hand still? No. Um, if you control an elf, destroy an enemy artifact, or spawn a Rowdy Dwarf in this row. It's gonna be the Rowdy Dwarf again. There we go. We're not that far ahead, and there's still one Mystic Echo coming. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? There we go, Call of the Forest, onto the Oak. I'm assuming. Because we haven't seen... Oh no, Sultan, that's also an option. But that gives me a few more targets for the... Uh... Ooh, but that's going to be a lot. There's like six of them. Yeah, yeah. That's not good, is it? I can't even target that one. Uh... Oh, and there's the oak. Yeah, great. Okay, never mind. Overpowered deck is overpowered. Or should I say overpowered faction is overpowered? I hate Scoia'tael. That is so lazy. If I would have had Geralt there in my hand, that would have been a lot better, but... Nope. Just unlucky. Shoop is useless in Mage. Wow. But we're definitely learning things, and there's Gudrun, so that's probably going to be a Gudrun Shoop deck. Because I've seen a few of the partners talk about that. By the way, I have my new card back, which is also nice. You probably noticed that already. Um, but yeah, that's that's a nice thing we, we just all got. Um, Imperial Diplomacy gone, please. Experimental Remedy as well. And that's all I can actually do. Let's start with our bronzes then. Um, Gudrun can start, which is annoying. And Assimilate is also hard to play against Syndicate. But I guess we'll see. So there we go, the mutated hound boosts itself every time he's uh, armored at the end of the round. Um, but hey, you know what? You're not you're not armored anymore. There we go. Even at full gallop, he never misses. He's a good man. I don't know why I did that accent, that was stupid. We get Azar Javed. So the defender man with his scarabs. Um, no bronze units just yet. Although I could make one of those scarabs defend me. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, but let's just go with the heavy cavalry. Because that's a soldier, basically. You know what? No. Let's do the Nautica Sergeant first. Let's play that. 
There we go. And then we have an executioner, which is nothing special. Late for the best buyers. Um Nothing special indeed. So the defender is gonna block all that, but let's start with Ramon Tier Canal. Get another assimilate unit on the field, like this. And keep damaging those. <clears throat> I could play Surrender in a second, but I'm gonna wait until, you know, there's more on that side of the field. So a bounty on, yeah, the sergeant, which means he can just kill it right now if he wants to. Uh, which makes my job a bit easier, actually. I don't know what he's waiting for. Because that's straightforward. You get four coins for that if you destroy that right now, so... Okay. Well, that's a bit weird. Why wouldn't you at this point? Could place another assimilate unit. Just to round that out. And that gets us equal, but of course... He has the coins to do more than that. Do I use double cross already? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Because this is wild card, probably, yeah. Because he can't add another bounty unless you... What? Why? You can't place... He just placed a bounty on, my... on the same unit. What the hell is going on? And then use the coins to get armor on... What? That doesn't make any sense. Um, well, well then. I suppose I could just do uh, this. Play Cantarella onto the. Does that need to be played on a specific row? No. Um, and that can go onto one of the, yeah, the cavalry dudes. Spend those coins immediately. I don't know what just happened. I feel like I should have seen him destroy my unit there already. I don't think they know what bounty is all about. You can't place a bounty again. Oh, you can, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, you might be wondering why I haven't used Surrender just yet. Um, those two Scarabs actually give two coins each when they die. So I would ideally want to end the turn with that. Play a Crime from your deck. There's nothing with Intimidate in this. Okay. Profit and damage. Yeah, okay. It's a weird unit to do that on, but... You know what? I'm gonna go for... Yeah, let's just go for Surrender now. At least they're gonna get a lot of coins from that, but that's gonna take out four units and get rid of the barricade again on the Hound. There we go. And the turn there. Okay, he went over his maximum, I think, with that one. On a slice seductress. Um, I could actually use that to my advantage as well. Because I could go with... But that's every time... every Whenever your opponent plays a unit, boost self by one. But I get that as well. It's because of the deployability. So if I just do... This... Onto this... Uh, over here... I get a double... Uh, assimilate tick there. And that's that. And I think I work myself into a bit of trouble here. Yeah, because that's going to keep going, isn't it? So that's onto four, that's onto three. So if I play Geralt, that should be the end of it. Damn it. There we go. And then the turn, he's going to get two more points from the Hound, but that's basically the end of it. There we go. Haven't really spent too much of the bigger cards either, because these two might be small. But I'm going to probably try and get rid of them. So Reset, that's good. Fion, that's good. 
Uh, so I'm going to get rid of the Ducal Guards. And the Lock might be nice as well. I don't have any Assimilate after that, so... Yeah, let's just finish redrawing for now. And then we're going to do a boss round, so see you guys in the third round. So we get Glynis, which is good. Uh, Ducal Guard can go. Bribery might be pretty good. Assassination over the Lock? Yeah, I think so. So let's get rid of the cavalry as well. And we get Shoop. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. So I don't like the Slice Seductress. I mean, she's nice. She's a, a lovely woman. But um, I don't really feel like that's something I want to have on the field there. Do I use... I think I'm just going to use the assassination to get rid of that. There we go. And there goes another Slice Seductress. Fair enough. Fair enough, you're fine. Looks like some light reading. Um, let's put Glynis over here in the back. Great victories require great sacrifice. Because I could technically reset the slider seductress at the end of this and just get rid of it. That's a Purify. Purify could get rid of my Defender status. And that's a wild card into... Into what exactly? Ooh, the poison. Poison. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to guess with the Dalsborg runestone. Ah, oh, I don't get it. Ah, oh, I don't get it. Okay, so that's Assimilate as well. With the damage on that. Do we use double cross already? I think I'm gonna wait one more turn for double cross. If I'm gonna lose Glynis anyway, it doesn't really matter. The Vivaldi Bank. I hate that card. So that gives us another poison. There we go. And there goes Glynis. But he's really overspending on his coins, by the way. So, Slave Hunter again. And then we get the Double Cross. Just Moriel Sedan. So, that's a good way to know which cards he still has, less, has left. Graydon, Philippa Alhart, and Moriel. So, let's just use Moriel to do 4 damage on the Slice Seductress. I don't know what his last card is, but with those 9... Okay. It's an interesting way of doing that. It's just going to steal something from me. Well, that's fine, I think. Uh, so, Tribute 5, you boost yourself with a base power. But do you want to... That's only if you have Bounty. And I didn't see any Bounty cards in his hand. So, let's just go with Fionn Fargarnell and Defender to Slave Hunters. Now that I know that Philippa Alhard is gone, might as well do that. So, there we have Bounty. Okay. But even with the Tribute... That's not going to get you much, is it? Let's use Bribery. Crime cards. Or Morelsa again. I think we're going to go for Morelsa again. Uh, so that's damage an enemy unit by four. Uh, so that's going to kill... His Morelsa. So there we go. So now he has Graydon and Morelsa left. So Graydon destroy a unit with bounty. Fair enough. Yourself by its power, you're gonna do that. He's not. So that's just going onto the shield there. Um, so the last one is Moriel, so he has the tribute to destroy. So technically, I would want to go with Shoop first. You know what? Yeah, Shoop into Shoop Hunter, and then I get three random enemy units with three damage. Or destroy a random enemy. I think this one is going to be better. So just shoop. Onto that. And that gets rid of the shields. But I can reset that. So I think they passed. They stopped. Yeah. There we go. For the glory of the empire. There we go. Good game. That. There we go. Pretty good game. So definitely not the strongest deck there is, but I feel like it's pretty 
pretty cool. The north shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. And there we have an Ardal deck that is not led by Ardal. So I'm gonna go soldiers first. So Nautica Sergeant. Like that. So it's enslave. So we can seize an enemy unit up to six power. Of course. Journey joust. Um I could go into assimilate now. Uh let's do that. What is truth if not an illusion? Then I could just use the Ducal Guard over here. And boost them up to six, which gives them a nice target to enslave if he wants to, but that's gonna be really soon to do that. Boost self for every tactic in your hand. But that starts at what? No, at four. That's actually not bad. If I wanna just do that. Is that a soldier as well? Yeah, that is a soldier as well. So if I can just do uh, this guy, the crossbowman. And then into Ramon. I actually double play another soldier and I get to assimilate things. So that's a nice, a nice little combo there. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. That is nice. I would want to have that as well. But let's do Ramon Tier Canal. Um, which I can't really do anymore. No, I can't. Fuck. I forgot it again. I need to play Ramon first and then the crossbow man, not the other way around. Okay, never mind. Um, which means... Should probably just go for the Duchess Informant. Onto the Vanandal Elite. And that gets us that. That was a bit annoying. That was, again, my own fault. I keep forgetting I need to have a soldier in hand. For that to play out perfectly. Lowest unit from your deck, which is Artorius. Interesting. That's actually a cool play. A double assimilate there. I could also play her, but then he's gonna seize her. Although that wouldn't be the end of the world now, would it? Because she is all also a soldier. And I get rid of the enslaved then after that. You know what, let's do that. I'm just gonna put her in the middle so she can't be assassinated. There is no shame in fear. But then we're two points ahead with one card down, of course. We got a battle preparation. Bards across the empire will sing of this day. Huh. He's avoiding trying to overplay. Which is, of course, good for him. But I think with bribery... What am I gonna... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Or Artorius. I think Artorius might even be better at this point. Because Art Artorius might even give me three cards. And I have a few assimilate units on the field. So, Artorius again. On to... The Imperial Diviner. Like this is another... You know what? No, the Artfane Crossbowman. Uh, I can play that again. Dwarfs. What are they without them? Uh, there we go. And that gives us that, which is a nice... That was a nice combo. Especially against the Nilfgaardian deck. There we go, pass. What's to be expected? Still has the Enslave, which is gonna be... Painful, because an Enslave on a 6 power unit now is 12 points in one go. While I might not have that luck. So last hand is pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of the Ducal Guards into Peter Sar. Peter Sar is a singular resetter. Which might not be bad, even combined with Geralt. Um, but I'm gonna get rid of him nonetheless and get another Assimilate. There we go. Could go even double assimilate here, but the problem is that I won't be able to trigger it on the off round. So that's a weird one to start with. Because of course if I'm able to just reuse that... Because I can purify that. 
Um, so let's do just that, I feel like. Yeah, let's just purify that immediately. And then we're gonna start getting as many of many assimilate units as possible on there. Okay. Don't have anything for that just yet. I could assassinate, but I need a damage stick for assassinate. For the assassination. I feel like Ramon into Yeah, Ramon into the heavily heavy cavalry. Gives us a few more sticks there. And then I'm wondering if I want to already... How many assimilates do I have left? Only one, so I might as well just do double cross now. Huh. Spawn and play a copy of the last tactic card you already played this round, or play a unit from your deck. I think I'm going to go for... Play a unit from your deck, which is going to be... Uh, Triss Telekinesis. And then this. Uh, and then Joust. There we go. Woo! That was a nice one. Holy crap, but I barely had any time to do that. Okay, and we got, I think, double assimilate off there as well. And that's going to probably hurt. He could, of course, enslave one of my assimilate units. For which reason, I'm just going to drag this out a bit. Defender is gone, so we can't really do anything there. And he has no clue what to do now. That was a great combo. I almost fluffed it there. Aha! Skellen. What do you need me to and the enslaved there. Okay, Skellen can double play. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with Shoop now. Because if I can play Shoop Hunter, get a random enemy destroyed. Oh, please destroy. Please destroy Stefan. Ah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I wonder what tactic he's gonna double play though. Because now Stefan is out in the open, so if he doesn't use... Okay, so he needs to put that on range, but that's gonna play a tactic. A double bribery, which should be not too bad. Cantarella, fine. I mean, that would have been a nice play if you uh, reset. Okay, that's four points. And then another bribery. You're gonna have to hurry, buddy. Oh, Glynis. Are you freaking serious? Okay, uh, don't really have much choice in the matter now. So let's just play another assimilate unit. And then I'm gonna, gonna play Defender on top of that. Refresh your leader's ability. God damn you. And it's in between there, so I can assassinate it. Well then, Defender. Behold, new gods, iron might. Defender that blocks him from enslaving anything too problematic. Ah, I can purify it. And then probably just enslave the... Yeah. I don't know why you would do that now, but... Nevertheless... Annoying. Let's place this guy first. Because he's going to start damaging a few things. Play a unit from your deck. That's just that, which is fine. It's not going to do much, is it? Um, I could just assassinate one of the... Yeah, let's assassinate the Imperial Diviner over here. Because I can reset the top one, which is fine. Remove an enemy shield and damage it by four. That's gonna go onto that one. Fair enough. Um, the Dutch's informants on top of the Imperial Diviner, like this. And I mean, the purifier isn't gonna do anything over here. And as I purify, I can purify the doomed status. The first three cards on the top of your deck. Okay, and that's gonna probably be the exact same thing. Because if he replays the Duchess Informant, he also gets a double assimilate. And he has Glynis. And just adds another assimilate unit, okay? 
Then I could play Cantarella over here. And then I get another assassination. Another assassination. I could just kill the Imperial Diviner on the right there. Yeah, let's do that. That gives us a double assimilate tick, but I'm definitely not going to win this one. Because even with that... So that's going to be something. Something or other. And the only thing I can do is just reset the entire row. Wow. That was a bad draw. For every spying unit, there's one spying unit, so that's going to be 3 damage. And that's a reset, so... Yeah, okay. I'm impressed. You can do that, but that's only, yeah, 10 points behind. That's okay. Fair enough, got outplayed there a bit. More going with the tactics than uh, what I'm doing. I feel like in trying to get Shoop in the deck, that's going to be the exact same thing. In trying to get Shoop in the sure deck, I didn't really uh, keep into account that I'm spreading my deck out a bit too thin. I don't really have that many great combos. I mean, Ramon is one, but otherwise, it's not the best. Uh, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Starting off with the Nautica Sergeant, as usual. Might get a Tourney Joust. Is it six again? Yeah, six again. They're all just playing the same decks, aren't they? That's what I sometimes hate about Gwent. Everybody's playing the same decks. Um... Well, I feel like, for me, the most fun I have with the game is if I can just experiment with a few things. Uh, get the Heavy Cavalry down. So that means, that starts at 4, so that means he has 7 tactic cards in his deck, in his hand. Aha! Aha, aha, aha. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to get rid of that again? Create and play a bronze Nilfgaard faction card or create and play a bronze card from your opponent faction. Is there anyone here Damage an enemy unit by one missing? and then I could... no. Damn! I could just boost the, uh, the heavy cavalry. And then end it there, but I can't really do anything against hefty Helch at this point. Could purify the shield away. Could have done that, but because I can definitely win this round. Bow, Hefty health is not going to be enough low. to do uh, anything about that. Let's play another one, so we can get more boosts on his. Because uh, he's going to target that one. He didn't even remove any points in that last hit. So if he removes both of their armor, which he might actually do. Nothing will stop us. <laughs> okay. I feel like he's overplaying a bit at the moment. So playing a unit, then Artorius, then Artorius might do another. Um... What is truth if not? Yeah, that. Okay. So that's boosting. Yeah, that up to sixteen, which is fine. Which is still fine. I could do shoop. But Shoop is going to be overplaying things. I could reset. If I reset him now, that's 12 points into my bank. That's 15 points in total, which gives me 7 point advantage, but with one turn left. So why did I go with Shoop now? Uh, but Shoop is a waste. Shoop is going to be a waste. So let's just use Peter Sar and reset the Vanandal Elite. There we go. So that's bribery into a Duchess informant. That's going to trigger assimilate twice. My duty? This is going to get this another tortoise over down. there. And that gives them two more points onto that guy. Okay. And I think it's high time we go with Shoop. Uh, Shoop Knight this time. And then damage an enemy by four. Okay, connection lost. That was, a, that was nice timing. So there we go. Shoop. And kill Hefty Helge right now. So that's just eight. 
And an enslave. Okay. That is good. That is definitely good. That's what I wanted to have happened. Do I overplay him now? I don't think so. Because if he can reset his ability again, then I'm going to be in trouble. So let's just pass. Because basically you need to count your ability as an extra card. So right now, even though it feels like I'm going to have card disadvantage, I'm still going to have my ability left. So second round, I don't know if he's going to keep going. He could, and he definitely is going to. Onward, onward, to be showered with imperial gold. And then the battle preparation on himself. Okay, I could just do the same thing, but I feel like that's not going to be... So I can do this. Assimilate. Should have used my my uh, double cross here. So I'm going to have to do that right. Uh, you know what? Let's just use double cross now. Uh, remove an enemy shield. Or play a bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard. Yeah. Let's do this. A bronze unit from your opponent's graveyard. Which is going to be... Uh, there's no purify here, so might as well just... The lock isn't going to do anything. So might as well just do the Vanandal Elite. And like this. That was a bit too slow. So now I know that he doesn't have really good cards left. So the only thing he has last left is Sterny Joust and Experimental Remedy. So that's a pass. Did expect that. So let's pass ourselves. And that leaves us with a few nice options. Because Trist Telekinesis is a great way to ramp up the uh, Assimilate. Including the Duchess Informant as well. Okay, so that's a great hand. I might even get rid of Experimental Remedy. Oh, that's a reset again. He is going for Assimilate as well. Yeah, so let's get Assassination. Okay. Uh, let's start with Artorius. You will not regret this. Artorius into a Ducal Guard, maybe? Yeah, a Ducal Guard. The lowest unit is also going to be Arthur or not. Another Vanandal Elite. Fair enough. Could probably even assassinate that if I want to. Or Duchess Informant, but... Trust Telekinesis on ranged, which gets us uh, assassination. No, of course not. Imperial Diplomacy. Imperial Diplomacy gets us uh, the poison or the lock. Doesn't really matter. I could make him panic with the poison. Okay. I'm going to make him panic with the poison. So that gives us that. Experimental Remedy into probably one of my assimilate units oh no the tortoise the tortoise interesting so let's use bribery next um hmm i think i'm gonna go with damien so damien in between uh these guys somewhere like this and then on order, I can refresh my ability, which gives me the two remaining cards in his hand. So we're going to deal with that, buddy. Builds unit from your opponent's faction. Ah, I think there's a locker in there still. I don't know. No, he's still here, so I don't think... Yeah, that's another tortoise. Great. Great, great, great. So that means I can refresh my ability. Double cross. Ha <laughs> I could do that again. I could do that again. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Another Damien. Um, then I could just do the Duchess Informants on the Art Fame Tortoise ourselves. And then the assassination isn't going to work, but... Although, it is. It is, because I could use the tourney chest from his hand. Ah, oh, that was a nice play. Okay, double Damien. 
Uh, well, I don't even have Damien in my hand. In my deck, even. So, that was a great match. But it doesn't, of course, get us any closer to rank 10. So, hopefully, that gets a bit better. I might switch it up a bit. So since we were going up and down a bit too much, I felt like I needed to adjust the deck a bit. So I removed Shoop and Geralt Erden and then added Leto Kingslayer, which should also trigger Assimilate, the Hand Gate Sword, and a few other things such as Hefty Helch and Menno Kuhorn. So we went away from the Soldier archetype a bit and went towards Assimilate and Tactics a bit more. We still have a few Bronze Soldiers in the deck uh, to uh, accommodate, of course, uh, Ramon. But otherwise, we also have a few duplicates now since uh, Shoop is just out. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, two wins isn't bad, but I felt like I could do better. Um, and even though most of the losses were my own fault and not specifically the deck's fault, uh, I still feel like we could do a bit better. Um, what do we have here? I think I could do a bit better. So Artorias, that's fine. And then Nilf Guardian Knight, but I don't start, so let's just do this. And there we go, opponent starts. I think we could go with Assimilate first. Um, and that's actually pretty good. So going with an order. Wait, what? Royal Inspiration Boost and Allied Unit by 2. Okay, so Muse ability. Um, Lyrian Cavalry. Whenever you play a unit with orders, I don't have a lot of order units. So I don't see the use just yet to do anything else. So let's just do the Heavy Cavalry first. There we go. That does remove one option from my uh, hand there. But that's not too bad. Sentry and Spellweaver, so that's definitely going into the order business. Uh, don't really need to take that into account just yet. Um, okay, so Artorius Vigo. The senses can be fooled. Then, hmm. Could just go with, yeah, the Art Fane have a cavalry again. The so that's triple the assimilate side. on the board. Let's end the turn there. And then I think I'm gonna go with Menno. Or maybe Triss first. So he's gonna have three charges, so that's gonna be enough to either kill Artorius or the Art Fane Heavy Cavalry. There we go. And more inspiration over there. Let's go with Mano first then. Uh, although the tactic could be. Yeah, you know what? Just Mano first. Um, bribery. Bribery, definitely. Unless I wanna go with. Oh, assassination could also be something. I think bribery is going to do more. Let's just do bribery. Into... Yeah, just Nanakin. Let's put that on the range row. And then just boost... Uh, that one. And those guys. There we go. So Dandelion, that's an obvious choice there. And you can just start whacking away at it. Um... I could do Leto already, but I feel like I'm just gonna try and work it out the way we are right now, so... Just the Diplomacy. Formation boost and allowed unit by two. Inspired give it to armor as well. Ah, oh, Artuza, that might go first there. Let's go into that, and then into the Heavy Cavalry again. And that's gonna... <laughs> Be my cue to not uh, do anything with that anymore. How about a game of wind? There we go. Fine by me. I'm just gonna pass, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. That's too much of a run for me. But that lost him both Dandelion and Priscilla. Which means that I still have a few options for the the last round. And we won that second round, which was, of course, a normal pass round. But our hand is pretty good. Ooh, I do need a bronze soldier if I want to use Ramon. That is risky. That is risky. Um, I'm going to get rid of Turney Joust. Hefty Helch, mm, which is fine. Duchess Informant, gone. And yeah, I'm going to have to remove Ramon because I don't have any bronze soldiers left. 
And of course there's a Pearl Soldier now. Fair enough. Let's do Hefty Helge first. I can get rid of most of the units that come up then. Uh, yeah, so Hefty Helge. There we go. I have one tactic in my hand. But I have another tactic available for me. Ooh, lock an enemy unit. Okay. I could technically just purify it now. Yeah, I'm just going to purify it now. So, purify. So that gets rid of the shield as well. So I'm just going to use the damage already. There we go. I hate that unit. Could have used the purify on that. I could actually transform into a copy of another unit on the battlefield. That would be nice now, wouldn't it? Do I get the shield? Oh, I get the shield, the armor, and the defender status. That is uh, nice. Um, yeah, let's end the turn on that. Fair enough, there goes the shield. Um, I could use Surrender to get rid of the, the later status effects. Um, but let's put Assimilate down again. And then trigger Double Cross. Aha. Visogota. And Anna Strenger. Visogota first then. There we go. And then just use Visogota on Donimir of Troy. There we go. And I can get rid quite easily of pretty much everything on there. Um, so let's put Cantarella on the back row. And that pulls me another Sintrian Spellweaver. Which is fine. I'm here to lend a helping hand. And that gives us two more charges on Visigota as well. One on Hefty Helge. One on Sintrian Spellweaver. And... Another one on Hefty Helge. There we go. So Anna Strenger. Which is fine. So he's going to have to... Because Visigota needs to go on the back row. On the ranged row. Uh, now we're going to go for Surrender. So that removes the armor and the stew damage. There we go. Two more boosts. Uh, let's boost Donimir to 7. And the Sintrian Spellweaver to 6. And then we get another one hit in there on Donimir of Troy. So with the assassination I'm going to be able to kill him next turn. That guy just gives bleeding, which is also fine. Poker's red hot now. Satisfaction guaranteed. Just bleeding. That goes through the armor, sadly, but there goes the Mid of Troy. And then we can start doing damage on um, Anna Strenger. Uh, let's get Donimir to 8. Boost the Artvane Heavy Cavalry a bit further. Yeah, because he's going to lose those two points. I think we basically have this. Okay, Nanaka, that's going to be an interesting one. That's fair. It goes to random units, so I don't really, I'm not really able to do anything about that. I am gonna take uh, Anna Strenger for myself there. So there we go, Anna Strenger in between these two guys, and then booster up to uh, six or even more. Hmm, Sentry and Spellweaver maybe. There we go. That is working out nicely, isn't it? Sometimes the price is too so there we go. I can reset uh, Nathaniel in a second. So I'm just going to play Tristalakinesis. Onto that, I could go with... Hmm. Imperial Diplomacy gives me double assimilate. But Thurney Jast would be able to just kill off... Hmm. Or assassination doesn't really matter. Um, assassination. Assassination on Visigota. That's another double assimilate. And then we can use Hefty Helge on Margarita over there. Uh, and then continue boosting. Um, doesn't really matter where this goes, right? I 
think we got a boss there. Yeah. Okay. Victory. That was a nice round. Holy crap. And then we get up to a second bit. So next, if we win again, we're going to get two pieces every time. But that was a good uh, example of what this deck can do. So I'm getting to know the deck a bit better, which is great. And uh, we get Skellige next. That is interesting. I'm always glad to see some Skellige lying around. Um, I can't really get rid of it immediately. But I can put down Hefty Health. But with one damage and then something like the Gutting Slash or something like that is going to take that away immediately. Let's just put the Heavy Cavalry down. So that gives us a bit of armor. So might actually get rid of a Stunning Blow if we can pull one of those. Okay, the Boat Builders, that's basically a normal play on top of the Light Longship because that protects him from the the hits he's gonna get. He's not using them to create anything useful just yet. Um, do I use bribery or do I pass? I think I'm gonna push for it. Because I mean I have two cards to overcome that difference. Um, so bribery into the priest then I think. That's sad. I only get bronze cards. Um, so yeah, priest into over here. And that gets us a double assimilate, and we'll end the turn with that. So that's going to keep hitting the armor and getting us two points every turn, unless, of course, he destroys it. Okay. Okay, so that means I'm just going to go with the resets. Although, you know what? Let's, let's use Mano. Mano on the assassination. And that should get us enough points as well. And the turn. That's, that was probably the most effective way of doing that. Because my other cards are stronger. Ah, that's good. So that's Leto and Glynis in the same hand. Um, Turny Joust, maybe let's get rid of that. Fion is great. And let's get rid of the Slave Hunter as well. Still going strong, still going strong. So let's just pass on this one. So Ramon I can keep. I'll get rid of the Nilfgaardian Knights. Trist Telekinesis is extremely strong with Assimilates. And then maybe I should get rid of the Handgate Sword. Although he probably has a few low health units. No, let's get rid of Imperial Diplomacy. Okay. So let's play... So that gives us armor. Him, him armor, right? So three armor. Yeah. So let's start with Glynis first. I have served you. Now you must serve the Empire. And then I'm going to use Leto on Glynis. So I have two Glynises on the field. Will he be able to take that out? He's using second wind, I think. Oh no, create and play a bronze bandit card. S still fine, I think. Yeah, the Iron Falcon Troubadour. I know what he's preparing for and I'm fully ready for it. Uh, so then Leto Kingslayer onto Glynis. And then I'm wondering whether I should already do double cross. I'm going to wait one more turn. Because he's building up a Draco Turtle. I'm pretty sure he's doing that. Lose all armor and damage an enemy unit by that amount. He can go up to 7, I think. And then second wind. Ooh, yeah. Wow. So he's going to be able to take care of one of the Glynises. So that's nine onto that Glynis. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But now we can start building on the other one. Um, so let's put Ramon. Do I put Ramon down first or not? I think I should. Ramon on the Heavy Cavalry. And then that. And then I could technically use double cross. Uh, yeah, double cross. If I three adjacent units and damage them by three. Or this fall blood priest. This fall blood priest. There we go. Double assimilate. That's a priest. That's good. I was expecting something worse. There we go. And now we can play Fion Vargarnel. And use the battle preparation on himself. And that double triggers 
assimilate again. I'm gonna have to see what I can take over with the hand gate swords. That's uh, something I need to worry about in a second. Yeah, that's good. Because if I can pull an assassination onto the boat over there. Damn, son. Um, okay, so that gives us more armor on the Draco Turtle in a second, which is fine. I'm just gonna keep preparing with assimilate units. It's weird that he doesn't save up the armor for something else, but... Just telekinesis can get us an assassination, hopefully. A stunning blow. Stunning blow is 7 on armor. Or 4. I think I'm gonna go for 4. Yeah, the 4. Turny joust on the Tire of the Seas. And hopefully he doesn't know what I'm doing right now, because uh, the hand gate sword is next. Okay, so then we can go with the hand gate sword. Get the tire of the seas down. And then play it again on my side of the field. I don't really care about making it another target. And then I can use that to damage on the... Doesn't really matter at this point, I think. Um, like this. So Art Fane is next. And then, because I think he has Draco, Turtle and... Or not, Hamdal. It's uh, an interesting... Finally. Mostly on armor. So it doesn't really matter there. Um, okay. The tortoise then. I could put it on the armor, but now I'm gonna give him three extra points for that. Although I don't really mind. Because I'm gonna reset one anyway. Yeah, let's do this. He's just gonna keep punching on that. And then I can reset one of his units. And he just has Tempest, I knew that, right. What was he doing with the armor there? Um, so let's just reset the priest. And there we go. Another win for us. That was great. Yeah, this deck is coming into its own. I made some good adjustments there. So that means one more win and we're up to rank 10. That's going to be exciting. Here we go. Against a fellow assimilate deck. That's going to be interesting. Okay, um, so definitely Peter Sark win leave. Let's get rid, we don't start, so let's get rid of the Nilfgaardian Knights. Glynis is good. Maybe even get rid of the Artfane Tortoise. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start with Assimilate first anyway. Oh man, this is not a good starting hand. <laughs> So definitely not going to win this first round, which is fair. I mean, I don't really need to win this one. Would be funny if I could trigger his uh, his leader ability though. But what has he played now? Just Portal and Ramon. Um, I think I'm just going to pass. Although it's a bit early to pass. Nah, I'm just gonna pass. Just gonna pass. I'm not gonna overcome this in any way and he's gonna pass at some weird moment. So let's just pass. Because he did play most of his low-level assimilates, which is fine by me. Um, pretty much okay with this. I'm not gonna start, so maybe the Nilfgaardian Guardian Knight out. Handgate. God damn it, handgate. Uh, not really many tactics. Not a lot of tactics. Maybe get rid of Surrender instead of... Yeah, so we get a bit of a tactic there. A bronze unit. A bit of blood letting. Okay. I divined this move from the sparrows in us. Let's just put hefty helch down then. There we go. There we get that. Men bring more coin. Then I think I'm just gonna use hefty helch on the Imperial Definer. No. No, wait, 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 wait. I have a few tactics in my hand. I do want to assimilate first. Yeah, let's assimilate first. Long live the 
and damage the slave hunter. That still gives us more points than they have. And I think he's just spending his bronze cards, yeah, okay, for another pass. Do I need to spend anything else? I don't think I need to, so let's just pass as well. So if I could get Leto Kingslayer in first, that would be nice. I think I'm gonna get rid of Bribery, because I can't pull Bribery with Mano. And I can start, so the Nil Guardian Knight is pretty much fine, although... Could use something else. Okay, turny joust. You go first. You go first. Um, I should get going with Glynis, right? Um, let's just put Glynis down. All right, here. Is no shame in fear. And then play Fion on Glynis. So just to get rid of my strongest cards at the beginning here. Aha. But we get a Glynis in return. Um, I won't be able to take that over just yet. So let's just play Fion. Like this. You could purify the defender status, which is fine in my eyes. So this is going to come down to the wire. I'm going to play Artorius next. And then see what I can get with double cross. So yeah, purify, that was to be expected. Stars contend you shall be victorious. I could do double cross first, because if he has an assassination in his hands, that gives me five points. And I could get the Glynis with hand gate. Mmm, this is annoying. You know what? Let's try Artorius first. Artorius gets me another assimilate unit over there with some more armor. And let's end it there. Spawn and summon a base copy of a bronze unit from your hand to this row and on each player's side. Okay, so that's gonna help me as well. Okay, so now let's do double cross and I get. Imperial Diplomacy, probably, then. Yeah, Imperial Diplomacy. Imperial Diplomacy onto the, that guy. And that gives us a lock on Glynis. We still don't have a target for the Hand Gate Sword, but that's not too bad. To avoid doing two weirds of things, we're going to just do this. My duty. Get the Slave Hunter as well, and then damage uh, Glynis. Because if now I can get an Assassination, oh, I can get the Tourney Joust on them. Tourney Joust first, and then I can just steal the Glynis. So Artorius. Which is fine. Artorius onto the Duchess Informant, which is great. Um, let's get Turney Joust onto Glynis. If he's not able to boost her, I'm gonna get another Glynis. If he can, then I'm a bit annoyed, but so be it. Damage a boosted enemy by three. Gets rid of the... Bit of assimilate stuff. But now, hand gate onto Glynis over there. Giving us Glynis again. You do the and a nice boost. Then next up, I'm gonna go with Tristalakinesis. And then he's gonna do double cross, probably. But I kinda kept my. Well, not the best cards in my hand just because of that. Because I know another double cross is coming. And we get another slave hunter onto my slave hunter, I'm assuming. Used to be the yeah. Game. As expected. No double cross? No double cross. So that means I can play Trist Telekinesis and he doesn't get to. There we go. Um, let's create and play a bronze card from your opponent faction. So that's one assimilate. 
I don't get the second one. Um, I think at this point... Because I don't have a lot of Assimilate left, so I think I'm just going to use the standard pair to boost myself by the amount of boosted units. Which is going to be... 4. For each boosted enemy unit. Okay, kind of forgot about that, but... That's that. And we get the Slave Hunter and the Double Cross. But the Double Cross is pretty useless. And that's, yeah, okay. So that's going to go onto my Glynis. My High Glynis there. So that's going to lose me 16 points. Which is great. But then, we're not done just yet. So I can do the same thing later on. Um, I should probably do the Imperial Diviner first. Because she has Assimilate as well. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Uh, I can purify the spy status away from that. So then we have Mano Kuhorn left, which is going to be bribery, bribery, and then Peter Sark Windleaf. Well, just resetting something on the other side of the field. I'm going to have enough choices. I could even do that. Boost out by fine, gain a shield. So that just equalizes the points, but... Mano Kuhorn onto bribery. Bribery. And Bribery gets us who? Slave Hunter, I'm assuming? Yeah, Slave Hunter. Uh, damaging another. That will do. Slave Hunter as well. There we go. <laughs> that was a nice noise, wasn't it? That was a very nice noise. I do like that noise. I play a unit from your graveyard, which is going to be Ramon. He has another soldier in his hand then, probably. Okay, so that just confirms that he has crap in his hands. Um, then I think the best one to reset is just going to be the Imperial Diviner. So that's losing six points. And we're 11 points ahead, but he just has that one, the Heavy Cavalry, in his hand. So, there we go. There we go. That gets us onto rank 10. Woohoo! That was a full episode on Nilfgaard and how to play Assimilate. Against another Assimilate deck. Ding! And dong! There we go. Rank 10. That's where we want it to be. And with that, I want to end it by just showing you again what the deck was that we ended it with. So Double Cross with Tristata Kinesis, Leto Kingslayer, Ramon Tirconel, Hen Gatesword, Fionn Var Garnel, Rybri, Surrender, Hefty Helch, Menno Kuhorn, Artorias Vigo, Glynis Ep, Lurnak, Cantarella, Peter Sark, Windleaf, Imperial Diplomacy, Assassination, Nilf Guardian Knight, Art Fane Tortoise, Double Imperial Diviner, Slave Hunter, Double Duchess Informant, Journey Joust and double Art Fane Heavy Cavalry. So that's the deck that we uh, just got a, a triple streak there. Three wins in a row, which uh, made my adjustments seem the right call because the other ones weren't all that fine. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching this episode of Gwentach Laddering. And uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to uh, give me a comment down below or a little like. I always appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and see you guys in the next episode of Gwentach. Goodbye.